Servant of the Deep, companion to the great sea god, Poseidon. A monster who could crush a sailing ship with a flick of his tail. This was not a beast to challenge if you valued your life. And yet, there was one who did. Andromeda, the warrior princess. <gasps> On the island of Joppa, there lived the beautiful princess Andromeda. She was the only child of King Cepheus. She dreamed of becoming a warrior and someday following in her father's footsteps. Yes, my dear. The only wound is to my pride. Ooh. I'm impressed, Andromeda. You've mastered all I have taught you. Then please, Father, just give me five minutes on the training field and I'll be... Andromeda, what would be the point? You know women are forbidden to fight in battle. But if I prove myself, the men will have to accept me. <laughs> Customs do not change overnight. You're the king. You can order the custom changed. True. But I cannot force people to change the way they think. That is something they can only do for themselves. Now, if you'll excuse me, my sweet, I must take a hot bath. My back is killing me. Mm. Despite her father's warnings, Andromeda was determined to choose her own destiny. Unfortunately, her mother, Queen Cassiopeia, had other plans. And why, Prince Phileas, should you be the one to marry my daughter? Andromeda is the most beautiful jewel in all the world. You understand, only the wealthiest, bravest, and most noble of rank will do. Yes, Your Majesty, this is true. And though my estates are prosperous, my honor untarnished, and my skill with a sword second to none, these are but trifles, for I can give your daughter what she really needs. Love and protection. I will protect her and treat her always like the dainty flower she is. Yes, that is what my Andromeda needs. Come, let us speak further. Dainty flower! He'll have my sword before he'll have my hand! That night, the king and queen hosted a magnificent feast. Noble families from across the land were invited. Gracious friends, may I have your attention, please? And we thank you for attending this feast in honor of Princess Andromeda, whose beauty outshines the heavens 
and makes all the earthly flowers fail before her. Mother! On this glorious night, we celebrate a union of two people beyond compare. And so, with the blessing of the king, we give Andromeda's hand in marriage to Prince Phineas. What? Andromeda? <gasps> It's not fair! Athena, if you could hear me, you would understand. You watch over warriors. You guide them on their quests. If only you would watch over me. Ah, but I do, Andromeda. Athena! I I'm sorry, I didn't mean... I you have a right to be angry, Andromeda. But you must be patient as well. I have been. I, I've trained. I've worked hard to prepare myself. All I ask is to be a warrior and defend my people. Yours is a noble goal, but a dangerous one. I'm not afraid. Not now. But once you have started down that path, only then will you know if you have the courage to follow it to the end. I will find the courage. I promise you. Then rise, Andromeda, and you shall have your wish. Granted by the goddess Athena, Andromeda prepared to prove herself. <laughs> Silver armor! And not a scratch on it! Well, he must spend more time polishing than using it. All right, enough! Let's not judge a man by his armor, but by what he has inside. Show us what you can do, Silver Warrior. Thank you, Your Majesty. In the days that followed, Andromeda bested challenger after challenger. While Andromeda was taking on yet another challenger, she caught the attention of the hero, Perseus, who was returning from slaying the terrible monster, Medusa. What's this? A competition? Have you come to challenge me? I've come to compliment you. Nice work. And you are? They call me Perseus. Perseus! He is Perseus! The one who slew Medusa! And your name is? Uh, not important. <clears throat> now, if you'll excuse me, I have to polish my sword. Well, Perseus, will you not challenge this silver warrior? Well, surely a hero who can slay Medusa can defeat a mere tin soldier? Perhaps, but only a fool leaps into battle without first knowing his opponent. Things were getting complicated for Andromeda, and her mother was about to make matters worse. 
Trust me, it will be the event of the season. Andromeda is certain to be a stunning bride. But that comes as no surprise. <laughs> Her beauty already outshines the nymphs of the sea. Andromeda? More beautiful than Poseidon's daughters? Really, Your Majesty, how can you say such things? Why, if the god of the sea should hear you, it could be dangerous indeed. Andromeda more beautiful than us? That's outrageous! Absolutely scandalous. And it's a lie, too. Cassiopeia must be taught a lesson for this insult. But what? <laughs> but what? Please, Your Majesty, don't say any more. Poseidon is liable to rise up and destroy the entire island. <laughs> That's it! Destroy Joppa! Yes, yes, oh, yes. yes. <laughs> We must tell Father right away. Perseus was curious about the mysterious knight and determined to discover his true identity. What in the name of Zeus? Andromeda had struck the heart of Perseus with a blow more powerful than any sword. Meanwhile, other events were unfolding of a far more heartless nature. But you must, Father! You must destroy Joppa! She insulted us! And she said some really mean things. Now, daughters, Queen Cassiopeia is always bragging. That's hardly a reason to destroy a perfectly good island. Perhaps you're right. I just didn't think it was fair when she called you a spineless old jellyfish. What? I tried to defend you. But she just kept talking and talking. Who knows how many people she's told by now. Poor father. First they insult your daughters. The next thing, they'll be doubting your power over the seas. I'm beginning to see your point. My pet! It's time for a little exercise. While trouble was brewing beneath the sea, on the training field, Andromeda continued to strive toward her goal, determined to prove herself a worthy protector of her people. Who's next? How about you, Prince Phineas? For the honor of Andromeda, your bride-to-be? I will take that challenge, Silver Warrior. Uh, are you sure? I've never been more certain. You are the most amazing woman I have ever known. What? I'm sorry. Why? It was a fair fight and you won. No, I startled you. That was taking unfair advantage. In war, all is fair. And in love? <laughs> all is fair in that arena, too. Huh? Uh of the great Poseidon. What have I done to offend you? Not you. Her. Me? Uh, what did I do? She has insulted us. And now the island of Joppa must pay. We 
must save Joppa. I offer a reward to any man with courage enough to face the sea monster. Phineas, will you not lead the charge? Why risk your fighting men against this creature? He claims to be the bravest in the land. Let the silver warrior defeat the sea monster. If he has the courage. Uh, Bridge Phineas is right. Let him do it. Send the silver warrior. Wait, no. Stay out of this, Perseus. I accept the challenge, your majesty. I will defend this island even if it means my life. <laughs> You don't have to do this. All you have to do is reveal who you are and you won't have to fight. No, this is what I wished for. A chance to prove myself. Maybe I won't defeat Cetus, but at least I will have proven my courage. If only to myself. <laughs> Thought you were gonna get all the glory for yourself, huh? Where is it? Its scales are as hard as steel! Our weapons can't penetrate it! Maybe not our weapons, but he's got a few of his own! <laughs> My dear, it's all right. What a miserable excuse for a sea monster! He was pathetic! He was appalling. And he didn't do a very good job, either. Hmm. Oh well, maybe next time. Hooray, Silver Warrior! Silver Warrior, your bravery is only matched by your skill in battle. Ask anything, and it will be granted. My only wish, Your Majesty, is to be a soldier in your army. And to choose the person I shall marry. Why, of course, but... <gasps> Andromeda? It can't be. How crude. Enough! You have disobeyed me, Andromeda. And thank heaven you did. Today, I have learned to truly judge a warrior not by his armor, but by what she has inside. Your wish is granted. Thank you, Father. Then I choose to marry Perseus. But that's impossible. She has promised to me. Perhaps, Prince Phineas, you would like to challenge this young man for my daughter's hand. Well, it can still be a lovely wedding. In fact, it will be the most beautiful wedding in all the- Mother? There are as many dreams in the minds of men and women as there are stars in the sky. All you have to do is grab onto one, make it your own, and work hard to achieve it. Andromeda and Perseus stayed true to their goals and became great heroes. And at the end of their happy lives, the gods honored and rewarded them by ensuring that their names would live forever. Even now, you can look into the night sky and see the constellations of Andromeda and Perseus burning brightly.